All I ever wanted was you, but you left me oh, yeah, alone inside this. these empty, broken walls. Oh, and I can't see it clearly, but it's obvious. I know that you left me. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a game for you by uh, Rook1704 is Bliskovica, uh, the tier 7 premium Polish DD. Not often seen these days, and he's in a domination game on two brothers. So Rook's got some torps against the advancing Montica Collie that's just smoked up on the edge of the uh, Delta Cap here. And he's got a hider for company as well, which is great. Two DDs in here will help a lot. Hider's got good eyes. Um, the Blisker kind of to struggle a little bit. I mean, the range, spotting range on this thing, 6.8 kilometers. I believe the the hider's spotting range is a lot less, more like 5.6, I think, something like that. So the hider will help with his eyes, definitely. And it looks as though they're going to get the delta cap and they do, which is fantastic. Uh, there's still a lot of targets north of this cap, so um, maybe it's time to open up. However, there's a Konigsberg right in front here, so Rook decides to smoke up, which is definitely the correct thing to do in that situation. And he's shooting AP at the broadside again. Perfect. You need to get that AP into broadside cruisers. I possibly be shooting a little bit lower. Um, he's got his torps away as well, but they're going to miss. Problem with the Blisker torps, they are pretty slow, so they, they take some judging and it does get a citadel hit there to kill the Konigsberg for his first kill. Fantastic stuff. And we've got some incoming torpedoes, need to avoid those, so Rook slows down. And just stops the boat. Into reverse a little bit. So that's that's a really good start. However, you know smoke screens are a target. So uh, probably best to move out and he's doing that. He wants to keep eyes on the targets. He's opening up on the Montague Collie. Again, the right thing to do. The guy's sailing broadside. And he's using the correct ammo again. Using the AP. So at this point in the game, Rook's team have got uh, firm control of the Delta Cap. By the look of it. And um, the Alpha Cap's contested currently. And... Rook's team looks as though they're under some pressure there. Um, for some reason there's a Sharnhorst in the Alpha Cap. And I think there's a Z31 over there as well, maybe causing the, the Vacalin a few problems. But uh, back to this side and Rook opens up on the Bayern. Again, <coughs> using the correct ammo for the uh, ship type, he wants to try and uh, get some fires going on the Bayern and he, he's managed to get two fires started already although the, the Bayern's damage control that. So let's see if we can get another. And for whatever reason the, the enemy team seem a little bit uh, reticent to open fire on Rook here. Which seems a bit odd to me but uh, 
you know, <laughs> that's fine. The Monte Cacoli is getting a little bit closer. So Rook changes targets to the Monte Cacoli, changes ammo type again to AP. Absolutely the right thing to do again. And now he's gonna he's gonna move away a little bit. The Monte Cacoli is not gonna cap this in a million years, and he's scoring some decent pens there against the uh, the Italian. The Italian smokes up, and uh, yeah, might as well keep the fire up whilst we can. So on the other side of the map, in uh, Alpha Cap, it looks as though uh, our team are struggling somewhat. They're down to three ships over there, and uh, yeah, they're getting they're getting kind of pushed, sort of, kind of. But um, for whatever reason, we've still got the Alpha Cap, which is fine. Uh, this side, Rooks changed targets to the Fuso. Uh, the Monte Cacoli is going to come around the side of the island here. I think um, I might have changed to HE there on the Fuso. Rook's still firing the AP, which is fine if you can get the pens. A little bit more difficult on a battleship to do so. And he has now changed to HE. Uh, but back to AP pretty much uh, straight away. And he's getting pens on the nose of the Fuso there. Now the Monte Cacoli comes into view and back to the AP. And we're getting sort of 50 50 over pens and penetrations there. In fact, slightly more over pens than pens. But this guy's going to go down, right? Surely this time. Yeah. Okay. So, Monte Cacoli goes down for Rook's second kill, which is great. And now he's going to send some torps on the Fuso and uh, keep up the fire with the guns switching back to HG <coughs> he wants to try and hit that large pagoda and uh, cause some fires here if he can well, the Fuso is really close and if he, <laughs> if he gets all his guns on target onto Rook before he goes down it could be a problem but Rook's torpedoes just sneak around the uh, the dead Monte Cacoli there and kill the Fuso for Rook's third kill, which is super. So Rook's travelling north, back towards the Bravo Cap, and no doubt he's thinking about opening fire on the Bayern again. Uh, meanwhile, Alpha Cap has gone down to the enemy. Um, so yeah, this is could be quite a close game. There's nothing in it really. In fact, the enemy have got more ships, so this could be a good fight. So yeah, as predicted, uh, Rook uh, opens up on the Bayern with his HE. Obviously, trying to start a fire. I think here I might have gone to the right of the island to get some crossfire into the Bayern. Just to save a little bit of time. Possibly. Although. That's just a personal preference. I mean it hasn't been that long since he's been firing his guns at the bay. And so. Back to the HE. <clears throat> Obviously they want to keep hold of this cap. It's absolutely crucial. For the points. And he's now firing AP at the broadside. And getting a few pens, a few non pens. Three pens there, one over penetration and a non pen. Let's 
six overpens there into the superstructure. I think I might have been switching back to HE at this point, or shooting at the nose, possibly. Um, Bane's a pretty tricky target to pen on the side with these guns, but you can sometimes get good penetrations through the nose with the AP. However, if you're not doing too much damage, oftentimes it, you're better off just switching back to the HE and going for the superstructure shots, which are a little bit more e easy to pull off anyway. And there, uh, we've got a decent couple of pens there, but there's a lot of non-pens going into this ship. <clears throat> Thankfully, Rook isn't under any pressure, so he can kind of take his time. Now he's in the smoke, he's fully concealed. And, uh, yeah, just keeping up the fire. Best thing he can do. Now the Normand has decided that he wants to run away. <coughs> which is, uh, questionable. <laughs> to say the least. And, um, Rook's just firing on this guy. Which is fine, you know. Use the guns whilst you can. If you're not under fire, you need to be using your guns as a gunship DD. So he's reversing out the smoke to get eyes back on the bayon. And at this point, <coughs> he's turned back to the HE. The correct ammo to use at this point. And he gets the kill. So that's Rook's fourth kill. Great stuff. The damage is uh, increasing nicely. And I've the enemy Vacklin comes into view. And uh, the enemy have three caps now. So at this point it's absolutely critical that uh, we get some more points on the board. Vacklin's going to go down here. And that's Rook's Kraken. Fantastic job. So this is great. Um, Rook's team are 100 points in the lead. And if the Hyder goes to the Alpha Cap, this is pretty much a done deal, I think. Uh, Rook's just keeping up the fire on the uh, Celebza. Switching to the AP. Um, there's an Orion and a Sharnhorst in close vicinity as well, so... And at this point, Rook doesn't have any smoke left to conceal himself. So I think I'd be... Uh, maybe taking this a little bit easier at this point. Well, he's travelling away, so I'm making a, a difficult target. Let's see if he can get this this guy, and he does for his sixth kill, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, I can see what Rook's doing here. He's trying to distract the enemy ships, so the Hyder can get into the Charlie Cap. However, if I'd have been that Hyder, I think I'd have gone the long route up into uh, the Bravo Cap, and then circle around at the Alpha Cap. And he probably got enough time to do that. Well, nearly. Uh, but he's decided that he, he wants to secure the Charlie Cap. Which is fine. So Rook's just distracting these guys and drawing them away from the Cap, which is uh, an admirable thing an admirable, admirable thing to do. However, he's putting himself at a lot of risk now because he's well within the range of the Sharnhorst secondaries. But he's not going to give up. He's going to keep firing on these guys. <coughs> now let's see if he can score a torpit. Ah, that's unlucky there. The Shanos was bow on to that. And uh, Rook's lost more than half of his health at this point. And he's just travelling dead south. 
I think I might have turned around at this point, gone quiet, okay, and gone back up north, round the back of the island. But he's got his confederate at this point, <coughs> which is absolutely fine. And the Sharn horse has got a real bee in his bonnet <laughs> for Rook. And, you know, who can blame him? And, unfortunately, our friend here has driven straight into the southern border. And he's got nowhere to go now. At this point. <coughs> and, yeah, I think that was uh, pretty inevitable at, at this point in the game. But, he has enabled the hider to cap the Charlie Cap and pretty much secure the game. And if you look at the uh, the damage done, it's still increasing. He's got a fire ticking on that Sharnhorst. So we'll see where that ends up. 104,000, 105,000. Climbing steadily. 106,000. And I'm not quite sure why the hide is shooting at this guy either. I mean... Gun fighting a Sharnhorst at this kind of range is uh, not a good thing to do in a DD, in my opinion. So yeah, the the damage has stopped there at 109,148. So <laughs> for a tier 7 uh, DD, that's a pretty good score there. Amazingly, the Hydra has escaped with 459 health. And it looks as though a friendly Normand is travelling into the Alpha Cap, which he should have been doing long ago, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, this game is a done deal. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of uh, the game here. Um, they've got all the caps, you can see that there's no way the enemy can come back at this point. So we'll go to the screens. So yeah, fantastic by Rook. Kraken Unleashed, Confederate, 109,150 damage, 410 target hits. Uh, 6 kills, 1,937 XP, thought that might have been a little bit uh, higher than that. And uh, the hit list. So yeah, very well done Rook, great game to watch, and I uh, hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all again next time, and uh, thanks as always for watching, bye bye.